emotions flared in the courtroom just hours ago in the Ahmad Arbery trial as the judge denied a request to declare a mistrial in the case of three men charged with killing Arbery. And our Tori Cooper has been following the court proceedings. She joins us live with what happened in court. Tori? Yeah, civil rights leader Reverend Jesse Jackson sat quietly in the back of the courtroom consoling Ahmaud Arbery's mother through the trial, but this quickly became the center focus for defense attorneys push for a mistrial. We are concerned about whether it's conscious or unconscious, the impact of their presence with respect to the jury. And I guess the next question is, which pastor is next? Is Raphael Warnock going to make be the next person appearing this afternoon? It was an unsuccessful attempt by defense attorney Kevin Gov to get another notable African American pastor removed from the courtroom. I will say that is directly in response, Mr. Goff, to statements you made, which I find reprehensible. Mr. Goff's statements towards Reverend Jesse Jackson, who was quietly sitting next to Ahmaud Arbery's mother in the back of the courtroom, frustrated Judge Timothy Walmsley, who ultimately condemned his remarks and denied Mr. Goff's request for a mistrial. Come here, sir. Not to react to the name calling about my name, Brother Sharpton's name. We're coming here, we want a fair trial for Ahmaud. Despite the courtroom controversy over African American pastors, the jury had another piece of evidence presented to them a 12 gauge shotgun that was used to kill Arbery. The end of the shotgun was very close to um, that fabric when it was fired. Now, Mr. Gobb's remarks have now inspired a rally that's scheduled to take place on Thursday where over 100 black pastors alongside Reverend Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton are scheduled to show up outside the courtroom in protest. We will obviously be following all the other developments that are going to transpire as the rest of this trial uh, continues. Make sure you follow along with us right here at CBS 46. Reporting live in Midtown, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.